guys. I'm so excited <laughs> to be here and tell you about this. This vlog is about a dream I had. And some of you who know me will know that I tend to have wild and wacky dreams. I, in the past, I've actually been able to lose a dream. I haven't done it for a really long time. But I have these wild and crazy dreams, sometimes are really vivid, and I often like to write them down, take notes, analyze them, do the whole thing. And I did that with this dream. So this is the first time I've had a dream this vivid and real that seemed to signify something in a really long time. So here it is. First of all, in the dream, I was dreaming. So like I was having a dream that I was dreaming. In my dream, I woke up and I was like, oh, I was having a dream. And when I woke up, I was lying on this small bridge I have in our backyard. And it's, it's that bridge where the muskrat lives for anyone who's been watching for a while. So in my dream, I remember waking up and feeling the sunshine beaming down on me and feeling like the warmth of the sun. I remember feeling like, you know, comfortable and warm and I didn't sit up. I was lying down and I remember just rolling off to kind of the side and the bridge is very small but the whole, everything is small there like it's it's quite shallow but the the bridge is only this high off the water so i'm lying on the bridge and the water le levels like here and when i look there's the nose and eyes of a white crocodile or alligator i'm not sure how to tell the difference in real life so i don't know how i would tell the difference in a dream but it was like albino like completely white and definitely an alligator or crocodile and i remember looking at it and i didn't feel scared i remember feeling like full of wonder and being not being able to believe that this was happening it wasn't like the like oh my god there's a crocodile a foot from my face but in the dream <laughs> It just like kind of looked at me above, just barely above the surface and then just lower down and swam away. The end. <laughs> so I woke up and I was like, oh my God, I feel like something profound has happened here. So of course I had to go look up what in fact it could mean. So here's what I found. Okay, so this is actually super cool, and I feel like actually diving into the dream analysis has allowed me to kind of actually have some insight into what's going on. So, like, I'm excited. Let's talk about it. I actually took notes, so. <laughs> First of all, the fact that I was dreaming within the dream, like having a dream that I was dreaming, apparently can be a sign of self-deception such as lying to oneself or lying to myself in this case, creating this like false mindset. And then to dream of a white alligator or crocodile, first of all, is very rare apparently, but also can signify something positive. So when I'm analyzing a dream, I kind of make a short list of what happened, like I write it out and then I take specific details from the dream. So the things I had kind of mentioned, the important things I had said, I think, are the fact that it was a white crocodile or alligator. It was in water, but it was shallow. It was a stream and brook, and one that I'm very familiar with. It's in my backyard. I was also in my backyard. <laughs> I was waking up, and it was uh, sunny. I felt like it was morning I'm where the sun was. So when I woke up, I was sitting this way, and sun rises in the east. So it was definitely like a sunrise situation. I was lying on a bridge and the feelings I felt in the dream were safe, warm, and kind of in awe. So I take those things, white, crocodile, alligator, water, and then stream or brook, getting more specific, home, outside in my backyard, waking up, it's morning time and the sun is shining. I'm on a bridge and a bridge that I'm familiar with and the feelings I felt. And then I go and analyze so let's go through the color white i have a number of books so we'll go through them and then i also do some internet sources so there's a, a wide range of sources um here so most of them kind of say a similar thing about the color white though innocence purity wisdom good luck again purity purity 
peace goals being achieved soon with the crocodile and alligator i didn't really of course know what was what in my dream so i looked them both up and but they were they were kind of similar destructive it's definitely a dream of caution it says deceived by your by your warmest friends or your closest friends and there's someone out there who wants to harm me and there's possibly someone who hates or is hostile to me <laughs> incredible but there's also another source i found that says this could be like initiation dream like new life and power i'll uh, i'll do my summary at the end but continuing on water stream bro when we look up water a lot of time we see like emotion cleansing when i looked up stream and book or like smaller bodies of water it said that perhaps it could signify my life and if you see like a larger body of water or a big body of water like a river it could mean you know your life is really full the opposite is if your stream your maybe your life is feeling very small and insignificant so we'll come back to that being home outside in my backyard safety good news is basically kind of what i found there when it came to the sunshine and that waking up slash like morning feeling it says conscious of course waking up first part of life for an early experience that didn't really resonate with me but then it also said things like it could be a joyous event could be could be coming up and prosperity <laughs> those sound good and then the bridge so the bridge was interesting as well so one source had an emotional connection between me and other things others and other things and other sources kind of were more like it was an obstacle but it doesn't mean you can't overcome it it depends on what happens with the bridge and for me i was lying on the bridge i felt safe so maybe it was like sort of there as an obstacle in my dream but i overcame it I don't know. But and then the feelings, safe, warm, and an awe. And I think that the feelings we feel in our dreams are just like, are just that, like legitimate feelings. So when I take all of this information and think about what's going on in my life, this actually makes a lot of sense. So let's go into that a bit. I have been finding not just recently, but probably since the beginning of this year. And, and I've talked about it before, feelings of failure. And I can hear that voice in my head. Like I haven't, I've been procrastinating putting stuff out there because I am so worried about failing. It's incredible. Uh, never in my life have I experienced this, but it's a real thing. You know, I had to close my business uh, because of COVID and I am still kind of dealing with the after effects of that. Even though I feel like I've, I've healed from the actual the closing of the business, there's this residual effect of this fear of failure that I'm constantly dealing with and it's preventing me from doing more and sharing the things I want to share and and doing the things I want to do so that kind of resonates with me that whole dreaming within a dream and lying to myself with a false mindset because I feel like I'm doing that like that's a real thing that I'm doing and when I look more into this and we were talking about the crocodile and alligator the like the feeling of deception someone out there is maybe a little hostile or hates me or wants to you know harm me in some way i literally am like is it me am i also the crocodile in the dream because of the way i talk to myself in real life like when i'm conscious like that that inner voice that i've been trying to knock down so i can you know start doing stuff but then also the color white the purity the wisdom like all that stuff knowing that my other side it's like it's the me who was on the bridge who was like you got this you went through a crappy time but you still have all the education all of the knowledge and all the experience you just don't have a physical location anymore but also i'm on to new things too guys i'm going off on a tangent but what else is new but i'm also a social media manager and a social media coach and i have a ton of knowledge <laughs> And I've created all these courses and I've been procrastinating putting them out because I'm afraid. But I'm going to do it. It's already on my website. You can go check it out. So this is me. Like I analyzed the dream and I was like, oh, it's all clear. Put it out there, Mel. So I did. Anyways, we're not done. I feel like the sun and the bridge were kind of like the, the me realizing that I am my own worst enemy. I don't have to be afraid. I, I got this, you know? And the bridge is, you know, it was actually, I feel like, you know, the, the one side to the other. Like I just have to get to the other side and getting to the other side is me, me getting over this fear. But that's how I interpreted this 
his dream and maybe I'm way off but I think dreams are a little bit you know I don't know spiritual however you want to say it whatever this is but then also can what's the words are relevant to what's going on in your real life that's it Anyways, guys, I would love to hear what you think of this dream. Maybe you love like to interpret dreams as well. What are your thoughts? Share your dreams with me. And if you'd actually like to hear more of my crazy dreams, <laughs> this isn't even scratching the surface, friends. But if you'd like to see more content like this, just let me know because I've got tons of it. Thanks for listening, guys. I'll see you again soon.